Assalamu alaikum students. Let's study today the four kinds of adverbs uh, that is uh, already, just, still and yet. So uh, I'm going to study, uh, tell you the details about the adverbs. The adverbs are still, already, yet and just. Now what the difference how, you, how we will use it. So uh, just we use for some event or for some uh, something which is happened a short time ago. Kuch min pehle, kuch second pehle, ek vaakya ho chuka ho, ek baat ho chuki ho ho. So we use just for it. Uh, and uh, then there is already. So already we use for uh, something which is happened early before we expected. Ek aisi baat ke abhi hum expect kar rahe te ke ye hoga lekin humari expectation se pehle wo vaakya ho chuka ho. Humari soch se, humari Jo, humara jo program tha, usse pehle wo baat ho chuki hoti ho. Then we use already. So already is uh, used for something we uh, happened early, we expected. And uh, then there is another adverb, still. Still we use for such events, uh, for such event which hasn't finished. Esa waakya jo abhi pura nahi hua hai, esa kaam jo abhi pura nahi hua hai, we use still for it. And then there is yet. Yet is another kind of adverb. Uh, we expect to happen. Abhi hum expect karte hain ki happen hoga. Hum uh, abhi wo kaam pura nahi hua lekin hum expect karte hain ki happen hoga. Now questions and negative sentences uh, are there yet. Yet mein hum questions, question sentence and negative sentence we use it. Now uh, still and yet. Uh, dono ke liye we use abhi tak for uh, in, the Urdu, in Urdu. But the difference is there ke still mein wo wa kya hai wo cheez hai jo ke abhi puri nahi hui wo kaam abhi pura nahi hua aur yet mein wo cheez hai wo baat hai wo waqia hai wo event hai jisme hum uh, expect karte hain ki happen hoga abhi hua nahi hai lekin hum hum expectation shaam mein nahi hai aur yahan pe expectation shaam mein hai now and another thing is ke present perfect tense uh, all these four adverbs will be used in the present perfect tense so present perfect tense mein uh, let's see the sentence structure of just is just subject plus has hai plus past participle past participle means third form of the verb for example go when gone so gone is the third form of the verb which is called past participle so, uh, just subject plus has hai plus past participle come to the example we have just bought a pet humne abhi abhi ek pet khareed li hai kuch thodi der pehle so we have just bought a pet uh, this is the sentence structure for uh, the just uh, and just you see uh, what is earlier okay, a short time ago means we bought a pet a short time ago uh, after uh, some minutes ago or some uh, seconds ago now come to the another adverb already already subject plus has had with a singular has with the plural have plus already plus past participle third form of the verb now come to the Example, Faiza has already got a driving license. Uh, Faiza pehle hi se driving license hasil kar chuki hai. Now already, uh, you see what he did it later, already happened early, we expected. Hamar expectation se pehle wo baat ho chuki hai. Uh, uh, so, pehle hi se uh, Faiza uh, driving license hasil kar chuki hai. Now, number three, third adverb, still. Still, sentence structure of the still is like it. Subject, the still. Plus has, have, not. Plus past participle. Third form of the verb. Now, see to the sentence structure. I still haven't watched the third form of the verb. The new James Bond film. I still haven't watched. Many abhi tak James Bond ki nahi film nahi dekhi hai. So, I still. Many students do mistake here. Ke they use this still uh, here after haven't or after watched. It's wrong. Uh, so still will always come after the just after the subject and uh, then another adverb is yet yet subject plus has have not plus past participle plus yet or uh, in the question form has have will come first has have plus subject plus past participle plus yet let's see the example she hasn't told her parents the news yet usne abhi tak apne Parents ko ye baat nahi batai hai. So and have you tidied your room yet? Ya aapne abhi tak apne room ko tidy kiya hai? Ya nahi kiya hai? So you see dono for uh, 
still and for yet. For both we use Urdu translation abhi tak. But what's the difference? Difference ye hai ke still mein expectation shayad mein nahi hai. I still haven't watched the new James Bond film. Maine bhi tak James Bond ki new film nahi dekhi hai. Lekin expect kisi ki expectation se nahi hai ke wo ye film dekhi ya na dekhi. Kisi ki humse koi umid nahi hai, koi expectation nahi hai. Hum film dekhi ya na dekhi koi fark nahi padta. And she hasn't told her parents the news yet. Usne abhi tak apne parents ko ye baat nahi batayi hai. So here expectation is there. Expect karte hain. Hum expect karte hain ki usse lazmi batana chahiye. ये अपने पेरेंट्स को कि क्या उसने अभी तक बताई है या नहीं बताई है एंड हैव यू टाइड योर रूम यार यहाँ पे हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि हर एक अपने रूम को टाइड रखे ये हर एक एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है उसे तो की जाती है हर एक से ये उसके साथ ये एक उसके काम उसकी ड्यूटी समझी जाती है सो देट वाई अभी तक यट एंड स्टिल जट इज अ डिफरेंस के एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड नो एक्सपेक्टेशन सो लेट्स डू सम एक्सरसाइज इन द बुक आई है The book here, page number. Uh, please come with me. English ahead three, page number eighteen. Page number eighteen. Uh, exercise one. Anna, hi Anna. How are you? Have you been shopping for the party yet? Mm. I have already made a cake and bought some orange juice, and now I'm going to buy some present presents. I'm a bit annoyed with my brother because he hasn't done anything to help yet. I've just had a message from my cousin Amro. She still hasn't left home. I really hope she isn't late. Now, question uh, exercise number two. Put the words in brackets in the correct position in the sentences. My cousin has just just will come after his has just won a prize. How exciting! I. Still, I still can believe. I still can believe my team hasn't won a football match this season. Have you moved into your new house yet? Number four. It's only autumn, but there has already been. Already will come between has and been. There already there has already been a few snowstorms in the mountains. Number five. She's lived in Vietnam for two years, but she hasn't visited. Who cook yet? Yet we come at the end. Number six. Dad's dad's just finished work, so he is going to be home late tonight. Exercise three. Write complete sentences in the present perfect. Use the words in the brackets and just already still yet. Number one. Do you want to watch uh, Star Wars? B. No thanks. I have already watched three times. Two. Do you know? Uh, where Ron is? Yes, uh, I have just I have just seen him in the corridor. Three. What do you think of the exhibition? I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Number four. Ali has been in the library for four hours. I know. Uh, he still hasn't finished his history essay. Now, soon this was the um, introduction and exercises of uh, the four uh, adverbs still already just and uh, yet. Then uh, the workbook work is remaining that we will do later, inshallah. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, students. Uh, let's start the work of the uh, remaining work of uh, the four adverbs just already still yet. Uh, in the workbook, page number eight. Please open page number eight with me. Page number eight, uh, English ahead three. So please open this book and uh, uh, focus on the book. It uh, it says uh, language focus one. Page number eight. Just already still yet. Complete the conversations. Use just already still yet. Exercise one. Amy, hi guys. Have you seen Lydia? Has she already left school, Bella? I don't think she's gone yet. She was here a few minutes ago. Cassie, Lydia, sorry, but she left.